Welcome to Terrier Talk. I'm Brian Moore. Across the screen for me today, not wearing his bronze medal from the IRA National Championship, is Michael Boston, who just completed his senior season. Michael, take me back a couple of weekends now. The Terrier Varsity Four Book took home the bronze medal at the IRA National Championship Regatta. If you're writing a screenplay for your college career, is that kind of the happy ending that you wanted to write? Yeah, I definitely say that this is a great ending to write out. You look at this year with, with COVID and the pandemic and the way BU responded, I think going into it, we didn't know what to expect. But I'd say as a team as a whole, we really rallied around the idea of, okay, let's work to the spring and see if we can get some races in. And it turned out we got to have a full race season to top it off. We, my boat was able to bring home a medal. I couldn't have asked for anything better than that. Of course, besides the teams you were racing against, the other antagonists, I guess, in the story would have to be the weather. Really rainy conditions in New Jersey. How did that in, in impact the group of four? Yeah, so I'd say externally, there was that fear of, oh, is the program, is uh, we going to get to race? But internally, I'd say that it wasn't demotivating or worrisome at all. It was honestly, we, we got excited around it. Because you look at Boston and you look at the Charles, Boston's not known to have uh, sunny days every day. And the trials is not known for it. It's flat water in the basin where we do a lot of our training. So it was something that I've been doing for four years, working out and training in, in tough conditions. And so the, the chance to be able to race in those conditions, we just saw that as almost a home court advantage. So we, we weren't worried at all. We, we maybe saw it as a bit of an edge. Well, this group earned the second IRA medal in BU program history and the first since the second varsity eight boat brought home the bronze in 2015. I don't want to bring this up, but the Terriers were one tenth of a second from finishing with a silver medal as California just edged out BU. What was that last 60 seconds like in a deadlock with another boat? Yeah, so to describe it, I'd say that the last 60 seconds were pretty comfortable. And to explain that is, I felt like it was comfortable because I had the full trust in my boat. And that was something that we've been working all training season where we knew with every piece, every, every practice race that we went into, we were going to give it our all. And we weren't going to leave anything at the dock or on the water when we finished up. And so going into the last 60 seconds of that race, I had no worry about the other four guys in my boat. And I knew that they were going to push me along and bring me to the finish line and I was going to do the same for them and so Peter Adams our coxswain he uh he kept us in the race he told us exactly where we were what we needed to do and we were fully bought in and so those last 60 seconds even though we we ended up not getting that second place it, there was no regrets there was nothing left behind and that's always a good feeling where yes. we didn't finish at all maybe we could have done this maybe we could have done that it was it, it ended exactly with what we gave I was just going to say, as a senior, that's kind of, I'm sure you'll remember those 60 seconds for a long time. Of course, yeah. Michael Boston is my guest from the BU men's rowing team here on Terrier Talk. Your rowing career now at BU is officially over. Uh, as you look ahead to your future, what are you doing now, and how much is rowing still going to be a picture as uh, in the picture as a hobby or, or anything else? Yeah, so now I get a little bit of time off, which is nice. And I'll go see, see family and friends. But in the summer, I'll actually be starting work in Philadelphia, which will be great to get that going, getting the next step of my life started. And, but, but rowing, of course, will always be a part of my life. I, it's something I love, and so I never stop doing it. It's, all, it's helped me out throughout college and my education. And so I can see it definitely being a, a part of my life to help me through, through my career path. And if the coaches are nice enough and see me fit, maybe they'll invite me back to the uh, alumni eight ahead of the Charles <laughs> one year. Well, lastly, you're from an area in Pennsylvania where I, I had to go and look at the map. There isn't really a primary body of water near you. How did you get into rowing to begin with? Yeah, so my high school program at Haverford, they, uh, they, they had a rowing program and it was on the Schuylkill. And the Schuylkill actually attracts a lot of schools, pretty competitive. It's a bit of a drive from, from where I am in Lower Gwinnett, but I, I loved it. That's why I fell in love with the sport. And that then from there, I guess, is was when the recruiting started. And I started talking to coaches and we traveled a little bit more. And then I really fell in love with the sport as a whole and wanted to do it in college. But I'll probably be visiting the school again, going to see my high school as well and keeping a part of keeping growing a part of my life in that essence. So I'm guessing that means you also have no problem then with long drives if you're used to that at this point. Nah, no, it's <laughs> no problem at all. Michael, thanks so much for reminiscing. Congratulations to you and your teammates on the bronze medal and have yourself a wonderful summer. Thank you very much.
That's another 2021 graduate, Michael Boston, from the men's rowing team. Until next time, I'm Brian Moore. Let's talk again. Hey.